Mr. Reactastic, right here. Yeah. So, what's happening, man? The sites? I um, was looking at the comment section of the video I did the other day. My version of Batman's voice. Not imitation of Kevin Conroy, but my version of what Batman would sound like if I voiced him. I was looking at that video yesterday. I'll post the link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. And I saw some of the comments, and uh, some of you actually thought that I was rushing or it sounded rushed. I wasn't rushing. If you listen to the original video, which is in the comment set, I mean, which is in the description box of that video, if you listen to Kevin, he sounds like he's speedily saying what he has to say, whether he's entering it in the computer or whatever. So I was actually, even though it was my voice, and I wasn't trying to copy him. I did try to match his tempo for the video. So just so you know, I wasn't rushing. I was just matching that. But I appreciate all the love for for my impression of what Batman would sound like if I voiced him. I really appreciate that. You know, that just gives me more fuel to keep going. And maybe, who knows, maybe one day you will see me or hear me in a DC cartoon. But until then, let's get this reaction on. Justice League Gods and Monsters. Now you know all the man, all the DC cartoons are good, so I'm sure I'm gonna like this. Let's do it. At least fifty dead in the embassy massacre. And not just dead, dismembered, burnt alive, sucked of their blood. A virtual house of horrors. Oh, but what about our terrorist organization? What about the Justice League? If I deliver justice with a heavy hand, it's because I've been on the receiving end. Maybe they're warning us to stop the project. Fair play's already done, Savannah. But I want you to know that forensics is further implicating the Justice League in these murders. Get out of my house. Is he... We're being framed. Someone's actually trying to frame the Justice League. Who would have the balls? Well, this is something that... If you are under the impression that we are surrendering, let me relieve you of that notion. Hmm. Interesting. Summer 2015. Well, that's right around the corner. So I assume it's some type of alternate reality type of Justice League. As soon as I seen the beams come out of his face, I'm like, what? So I guess that's Superman. I'm thinking the other dude was Batman, but he looked like a Batman android or something. I don't know what. And then, you know, that one was a souped up, extra armored up Wonder Woman. So anyway, uh, I heard this is a real uh, comic book, uh, you know, storyline that happened so post your comments down below let me know what i'm pretty much missing what this is about um post your comments down below if you enjoyed my reaction hit the like button and subscribe if you didn't hit the like button and subscribe one of these subscribers Woo!